Hello my students, 7th grade, welcome again to English classes. For today, inshallah, we're going to continue our lessons from unit number 8, and today's lesson is language focus 2. For today, we're going to have two outcomes. The first one is to learn the use of will and want. The second one is to complete sentences using will and want. So you need to open your student book page 91 and your workbook page 80. We use will or want, which is will plus will not, plus the infinitive without to, to talk about a future prediction أي تستخدم will want للتحدث عن التوقعات والتنبؤات المستقبلية will and want they are followed with a verb that is infinitive يأتي بعدها فعل مجرد for example he will sing sing here should come in the infinitive case so we can say he will sing it is incorrect so we should put the verb after will and want in the infinitive case Want is the negative form of well, which is well plus not equals will not or want. In a sentence, he won't sing and also want is followed with a verb in the infinitive case. For example, I'm sure I will have a lovely time here, I'll here, which is the contracted form of I will. Then have here comes in the infinitive case, then the complement of the sentence. To form a yes-no question, we put well before the subject, then we put the infinitive verb, then the complement of the sentence. For example, will it be cold in the mountains? So we start with well, then we put the subject, which is at, then we put the verb, which is be, then the complement of the sentence. The answer for this question is going to be whether yes, it will, or no, it won't, because it is a yes-no question. If we want to form a WH questions, we're going to form the WH word, then we're going to put well, then the subject, then the infinitive verb, then the complement of the sentence. For example, what will you do on holiday? We start with the WH word, which is what, then we put well, then the subject, which is you, then the infinitive verb, which is do, then the complement of the sentence on holiday, then a question mark. Now let us move to the exercises that we have in the student book, exercise number one. Complete the examples from the listening on page 90. So here you're going to fill in the blanks whether with well or want. You have to pay attention to the sentences type, whether it is affirmative, negative, or a question. Number one, I think I'll take my camera, I, which is the contracted form of I will. Maybe I won't go to Scotland next year. What will the weather be like? Question number two, complete the sentences with the correct form of well and the verb between brackets. So here we're going to complete these sentences with well or want according to the sentence and we're going to put the verb in the infinitive case. Number one, my teacher thinks we will do well in the test. Number two, the teacher won't be, or the weather, sorry, won't be very nice because here we have not between brackets. Number three, you will have a great time in Patagonia. Number four, they won't see any penguins at this time of year. And the last one, my dad says I won't enjoy kayaking. Exercise number three, we have an email. We're going to complete this email with, our, with well or want and using these verbs. From the beginning, I'm very happy that you're doing to come or you're going to come camping with me this weekend. I think we will have a great time. Come to my house on Saturday morning. My mom will make some breakfast for us. She's a great cook. I'm sure you will like her food. I think we will leave the house at about 10 o'clock. The campsite isn't far, so we will walk there. The weather forecast says it won't rain, and I'm very glad about that. See you on Saturday, Dave. Now let us move to the exercises that we have in the workbook. Question number one, circle the correct words in the grammar table. Number one, the weather it be or will be very cold, of course will be. We put will then the verb in the infinitive case. Number two, I know I won't pass this exam. Number three, Will you write to me when you're on holiday? Here we have a question, so we start with well, then the subject, not you well, because you well here is an affirmative sentence, not a question. Exercise number two, 
write sentences using well or want here we have sentences we're going to form them with well or want if we have the tick sign we're going to put well if we have the cross sign we're going to put want number one drive a car i will drive a car number two i want get married number three i will go to university four i will live in another country number five i want meet a famous film star i will speak three languages i want be famous i will live by the sea exercise number three complete the email with the correct form of well and the verbs between a bracket so again and again you're going to fill in the blanks with will or want and the correct form of the verb from the beginning hi alicia just come to Greece with my family we had an okay time but my brother says he won't go camping with my parents again next year and he won't visit any more boring ruins he says he will probably go on a beach holiday with his friends it will be sunny and warm and they will go swimming every day and here are the rest of the items now exercise number four put the words in the correct order to make a question so here we have words we're going to order these words to make questions using well or want number one will you meet me in the park after school number two will they deliver our new tv on saturday number three what will you do tomorrow number four where will the next olympics be number five Will your parents let you go to the party? And the last one, who will be the first person to live in on another planet? So here are the answers. Please write them down. And this is all that I have for today, my students. Have a nice day.